Hey everyone, welcome to this morning's Lockdown Lookup. What an awesome weekend we just had, where we got to celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ our Lord. And even though we're apart, and even though we're in the midst of a crisis, He is risen. Well, last week Thursday, Pastor Richard explained to us what goodness is, one of the fruit of the Spirit. And this morning, what I'd like to do is I'd like to kind of do a part two where I talk to us about how we cultivate goodness in our lives. So to recap, Pastor Richard said to us last week that goodness is far more than just an adjective. You know, that's a good cup of coffee or I feel good this morning. He explained to us how goodness is actually when something is living in line with its purpose. Now, when we think of purpose, we usually think of kind of career path or life path. You know, um, I'm fulfilling my purpose because I'm a teacher uh, dedicated to educating kids who will become good citizens. Or I'm a business owner. We kind of operate with, with honest principles and values. We're creating job opportunities and we're really, really adding value to society. We're living in line with our purpose. Well, yes in part, but actually our purpose is far greater than just that. I want us this morning to look at a passage of scripture. Why don't you turn to me or just have a look on your, on your screens or turn with me rather uh, to Second Peter chapter 1 and we're going to read from verse 3. Let's read this together. It says in verse 3, his divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Now from this verse that we can see that God is by nature good. He is gloriously good. What does that mean? Well, it means that he is perfect. He is holy. He is beautiful. There is no sin or evil in him. Perfectly loving, perfectly just. But this verse also gives us an indication as to what our purpose is. You see, our purpose is to reflect God. To reflect the goodness of God. And the way we do that is when our life reflects him. It's in living a godly life. Let's keep reading. Verse 4. Through these he has given us his very great and precious promises. So that through them you may participate in the divine nature. Having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. Now last week Pastor Richard also reminded us that we have been given a new status. Although we know that no matter how hard we try, none of us can be good. In Christ Jesus, God has given us the status as ones who are right in his sight, righteous or good. What a great gift to be declared good and righteous. But the problem, as I said, is that we know that we can't live up to that. No matter how hard we try, no matter how much we strive, we cannot be good people. Not perfectly good anyway. So how, even though we've been given the status of right, kind of in God's eyes, how do we live up to that? How do we make sure that our lives match up and that we are good people? Have a look at verse 5 with me. For this reason... Make every effort to add to your faith goodness. Last week, Richard also pointed out that it is not wrong for us to make an effort to be good people, to be loving people, to be kind people, to be upstanding citizens, to really reflect the goodness of God in all that we do. We are to strive. We are to really seek to have the fruit of the Spirit kind of evident in our lives. But you know, do you know, that no matter how hard we strive, 
We cannot do it perfectly. There is just no way because of our sinful natures. So how do we become good? Or rather, how do we grow in reflecting God's goodness? Well, when I was at university, we used to have a saying. And the saying was that you're a product of who you hang out with. I had a friend at university who was a bit older than me and who I really looked up to. And we became close friends and we spent a lot of time together. And people started to say to me that I, I started to say the things that he would say. I started to sound like him. I started to dress like him. I became a product of this guy that I was hanging out with. And the same applies in our relationship with God. The more we look at him, the more we spend time with him, the more we seek to know him, the more we read his word, the more we pray, do you know that we begin to become a product of the God that we hang out with? We begin to reflect his goodness in the way that we live our lives. The Holy Spirit transforms us the more we spend time in relationship with this God. What we begin to find as a result is that our effort isn't as much effort as it is rather us being transformed to being good people, reflections of God's very goodness. So although this morning I could encourage you to do your best to try and be a good person, which is a good thing, my encouragement rather for you this morning is this. Become a product of the God that you hang out with. Spend time with him. You've got space, hopefully, during lockdown period. Get to know him. Read his word. Talk to him. Look at him. And the more that you do that, the more the Spirit of God will transform you to become one who is living a godly life. To become one who is reflecting the goodness of God in the way that you live. Loving him well. Loving others well. That's my encouragement to you this morning. God bless you. Hope you have an awesome day. Cheers.